Happy New Year everyone! I hope you had a great vacation holidays! And welcome to another episode of my RuneScape 3 adventures! And today I'm going to do a quest! I'm trying to complete all free to play quests before paying for membership! And I'm almost there! Now let's check the world map! As you can see, my location is marked. I'm currently in Edgeville, but the quest for this vlog had led me to this area. This is the al Qari Desert. I've actually never been this part of the desert, but this is why we're here. An abbey stands in this desert and is reportedly to have been hunted. And that's where I'm going. That's our next quest. The Abbey of St. Elspeth. Time to go desert bound. So I made a stop here at Grand Exchange. For 200,000 GP, I bought a new sword, the Rune 2H Sword, plus 3. And that's how it looks when shit. New year, new style. Alright guys, we're almost there. Hey, are you going to the Abbey? Abbey of St. Elspeth. It's the only place that path leads. Well, if you're heading to the Abbey, you should keep your ears open. Their music is famous all over the world. I can hear them sometimes, when the wind is right. Times like that, I don't mind I'm not catching any strike wounds. The one person note quest is fully voice acted and features live recording music. Fair enough, we'll keep the music on. So anyway, I've talked to Sister Katharina. To trigger to start the quest, she advised me to talk to the abbess, the head of the sisters in this abbey, for detailed information. Adventurer, thank Sarah Domin you've come. One of our sisters has been murdered. Murdered quite brutally. I would like you to investigate. The killer may still be in the abbey. So Abbess Benetta explained to me that one of their sisters, Sister Anna, was murdered. However, she wants the investigation to be discreet, meaning the church authorities, the sisters, or the Alcarid guards cannot know. You should also question the sisters around the abbey, but please do so subtly. I don't want them to know there has been a murder. So I started to look at Sister Anna's body at the infirmary. So as I examined Sister Anna, she was brutally mutilated. Her face, her head, her chest, and also her feet. Sister Anna was not recognizable at all. After examining her body, I went to Sister Anna's cell where the murder took place. Here, I found a piece of cloth under her bed, which does not match the sister's robes, and that her window was broken from the inside. Not much left to go on, I went to talk to the sisters of the abbey. However, all of them claimed that none of them were here when the murder took place. But one certain sister Cecilia suspected that the murderer could be the Reaper Demon, a spawn of the evil god Zamorak during the ancient times. Sister Elena the cook only claimed that there was a food stolen, but she disliked Sister Anna. Sister Debra was on the clock tower when the murder happened, but Sister Katharina said that there was an applicant but disappeared. And the last one I talked to is Valerio, the traveling musician outside the abbey. He claimed that he and Sister Anna had an affair, but that was a long time ago, and that he came here to sing his love song to pay his respect for Sister Anna. With no concrete evidence yet, my only lead is that applicant who went missing. So I went to her dorm where she was staying and found a similar piece of cloth under the bed, but that's just it, so I partially concluded my initial investigation. Whom do you suspect? Still no evidence to point to the killer, I just said, I don't know, but soon after, we heard a scream. Did you hear that? Quick! Follow the sound of that scream! So there was a scream, and I had to follow it. Could it be that the killer struck once again? So the scream is coming from the east, and it led me to the kitchen. And this is what I found out. You've got to protect us! The demon is back! What's happening here? Oh, great Sarah Domin! Sister Eleanor! I saw it, Abbas! It was the demon! It was the Ripper! Sister Cecilia, go back to the oratory. Get yourself cleaned up. Adventurer, there's no point in my trying to keep this from the sisters anymore. I'll let them know what's happening. Please, Adventurer, investigate Sister Eleanor's murder, then talk to me in my study. 
So it was Sister Elena who was murdered this time. The sister who kinda dislikes Sister Anna. Examining Sister Elena's body, her body is quite similar to Sister Anna. Although her body was not mutilated like the first one, but there were scratches. Examining the nearby wardrobe revealed that there could be someone hiding here before the murder. Could it be? This is where the killer hid? But how? How did the killer manage to enter this area? After investigating, I needed to talk to the witness, Sister Cecilia. We're all going to die. It's going to kill us all. There's no escape. I heard the scream. I heard Sister Elena screaming. So I went down the stairs to see and... And it was there! The river! Just like in the stories. It was wrapped in rags and it had its huge claws and... It was bending over Sister Elena. It was cutting her feet with its claws. Then it saw me. It turned its head. It looked at me. I couldn't see its face. Thanks, Saradone. If I'd seen its face, I think I might have died of fright. It pushed past me. It splashed Sister Elena's blood onto my robes. And then it ran up the stairs and away. We can't let it defeat us. Almighty Saradon, give me the strength to, to not be afraid. Sister Elena was a cook, and inside the kitchen, there was a secret passage hidden by the sacks. So I needed to inform Abbess Benita. Adventurer, thanks Saradon, you're still here. Please tell me you're making some progress. A secret passage? That could be how the killer got away after murdering Sister Elena. Thank you, adventurer. I'll have the passage blocked immediately. I then asked for the key to Sister Elena's room to investigate if there's something suspicious. And interestingly enough, I found letters under her bed. And not just any letters, but love letters. Love letters that came from Valerio, our musician. The musician who had an affair with Sister Anna, and now we just found out that she had an affair with him. The clue suggests that those who have died are both connected to the musician, Valerio. Let's see what Abbas Benita have to say about this. Oh, I thought that was over. A few months ago, Sister Anna brought me a stack of letters she'd found in Sister Eleanor's room. She was furious. Sister Anna wanted to expel Sister Eleanor, but I decided to give her a second chance. She appeared contrite. As long as she stopped seeing Valerio, I said she could stay in the Abbey. It looks like Sister Anna was right. If Sister Eleanor were still alive, I suppose I would have to expel her. As it is, the other sisters don't need to know. As new evidence found, I decided to confront Valerio. Once I got there, Sister Katharina is now dancing outside. But anyway, I decided to confront Valerio, and this is what he had to say. Elena is dead? She wasn't happy here, you know. She could have been so much more if she had the courage to leave. I met her when she came down to Alcaret to buy supplies. We started writing to one another, hiding letters with boxes of food. I came up to see her last night. There was a hole in the kitchen wall that she used to smuggle me in. That's how I learned that Anna had died. Helena told me. I wanted to publicly pay my respects, so I snuck back to Alcarid and came here with my band. Adventurer, you don't think Eleanor could have been killed because of me? Both the victims were people I knew. Could someone have found the letters? And I can see her dancing barefoot. There if there's anything I can do to help bring this killer to justice, let me know. Without still proper evidence, I still couldn't point to the killer. Your reluctance to jump to conclusions is admirable, adventurer. I wouldn't want to accuse someone before we're absolutely sure. Whoever the killer is, I'm worried that they'll strike again. I want to make sure that all the sisters are safe in the Abbey. Sister Katerina is outside dancing. I don't want to pass judgment on her, not now. 
but I think she'd be safer inside. Could you go and fetch her, please? With the order of the abbess, I went to get Sister Katharina to get back inside. She'd be more than willing to go back only if I danced with her first, so I did. And after a little bit of dancing, she finally agreed to go back. But this happened. Alright, I should finish copying my book of Sarah Damon. I'll be in the scriptorium if you want to talk to me. Sister Katharina have been murdered. So the killer may have been waiting in ambush from up here. It's no good. She's dead. It pierced her heart. Good night, sweet thing. You could have been a dancer. What was that sound? Adventurer? Oh, merciful Sarah Domin. Sister Katarina, is she? I'm afraid so. This must end. Adventurer, Troubadour, please meet me in my office. We need a plan. As I see it, all sisters that have been involved with Valerio had been murdered. Most of Sister Katarina's features are intact. It seems the killer didn't have time to mutilate. But why? We really need to stop this. The killer is going to strike again, unless we catch them. I'm not a member of your order, Abbas. I don't know why you would trust me here. All the sisters of my order are suspects. The two of you are the only people I have seen in the same place as the killer. So you are the only people I can trust. I will not let this defeat us. We must arrive at a plan. Adventurer, after all you've seen, whom do you now suspect? All deaths are linked to Valerio, but there's not enough proof. Then we will need to catch the killer without knowing who they are. What can we do? At this point, we decided to lure the killer into a trap. We know that all victims are involved with Valerio, so we are going to make a fake announcement that there will be a new applicant who is a member of Valerio's band. However, she will just be hiding in Valerio's camp for safety purposes. So this is the first part of the plan. The abbess and Valerio will handle the announcement, while I will be at the basement where I will build a dummy for our fake applicant and lie in wait in ambush inside this drawer. Now let's set the trap. It looks convincing enough from the distance. Now let's hide. Sister Anna's funeral. We're actually laying the trap during Sister Anna's funeral. I can see her dancing barefoot. There are flowers in her hair. I remember like I saw it yesterday. There it is. He fell for it. I couldn't knock him out. Now I had to give chase.
He can't escape because the entire abbey is sealed. I can see her dancing barefoot, there are flowers in her hair. I remember like I saw it yesterday. To the sound of flutes and drums, she took my hand and danced with me. And we kept dancing once the music went away. So he tried escaping to the clock tower, but there's no escape there. He's trapped, and his identity is finally revealed. I finally managed to confront the killer, but not long after Sister Deborah was hostaged, and the killer turned out to be Sister Anna herself. Her motives were unclear, and her actions are doubtly justifiable. I can't understand her reasons, but here's the whole conversation. You decide for what it is. Stay back! Make any move and I'll kill her! And she's dancing in the city and the crowd. And she's dancing on the mountain and I there's no the fix in her head. And her Sarah beauty makes voice of justice! It's Sister Anna! She's gone mad! Sister Anna is dead! I am the spirit of St. Elspeth. She killed the applicant and dressed her in her robes. Now she is talking to a preacher. He says dancing is a sin. They were all And now I'm looking dancers. at her feet and they don't move. They weren't worthy to be in this abbey. And now we're standing at the Saint abbey Elspeth and we're saying our goodbyes. But I know she'll be the one I always love. That's the difference. I spent my whole life in penitence for the sins of my youth. And now Abbess Benita lets any dancing girl join the Abbey. Let's them go outside and dance when a, the troubadour arrives. Turns a blind eye to their now affairs. she's dancing in the sunset. I can see her in the clouds. I can see her in the sky as Dr. Sport. That part of my life is gone. Once come to both of us, I hope we'll meet again. And I'll take her hand and dance with her once more. Spawn of Zamorak! Demons and saints look the same to those whose eyes are blinded by evil. It is St. Elspeth! Get away from me, Tempter of Zamorak! I can see her dancing barefoot, there are I flowers in can her hair. Hear it. I remember the choir. Like I saw it yesterday. To the sound of flutes and drums, she took my hand and danced with me. And we kept dancing they all once and loved the music went me. Away. No! Worldly attachments, worldly loves, must all be burned away! I am the spirit of Saint Elspeth! She's dancing in the stillness to the beat of unseen drums. Stay and back! She's dancing Make any move and I'll kill her! And the crowd. After so many options, the only way is to set the clock downstairs to 12 noon. This will make the bell ring and incapacitate Sister Anna. Sister Deborah managed to disarm Sister Anna. At this point, defeated, Sister Anna will pray before committing suicide. <laughs> Give me a moment to pray before you take me from here. Almighty Saradome, creator and ruler of the world, have mercy upon me, for I have sinned against thee with my thoughts, with my voice and with my hands. As the voice of Saint Elspeth struck dead the demon, may it strike dead the evil in my heart. And may the harmony of the saints drown out the discord of my sin. 
I hear it. The holy choir. I am forgiven. Flights of icy lift me up. Saradomin, guide my soul to light. She jumped. Ironically, this was the day Sister Anna's supposed funeral. Thanks, Sarah Domin. It's over, adventurer. Sister Deborah told me what you did, but she didn't say who the killer was. She said you should be the one to tell us. Who was it? Who killed Anna and the others? I didn't know how to tell them, so I just said it was the Reaper Demon. Then Sarah Domin was truly with you, adventurer. Every death was a tragedy, but we should also take this as a confirmation of our faith. Zamorak would only send an assassin demon against someone of exceptional holiness. I cannot offer you much of a reward, adventurer, but please accept a set of the Order's robes. They are enchanted. Wearing them will allow you to meditate on music in order to grow closer to Saradomin. So the quest ends, and so is my time here. What a weird, weird turn of events. But I enjoyed the quest. A sister turned rogue killed her sisters because they were dancers, but she was a dancer herself and claimed to be the voice of Saint Elspeth. Or jealousy? Man, what a weird world runescape. Who knows what else this game has to offer. I love this game. <laughs>